All right, here we are, Lois Lake, about ready to start. So we take a new adventure on the Powell Forest Nature Trail. So, what do you guys want to say to the camera? All right, excited? Yep. All right, is it raining yet? No. So not. let's get going before the rain, the rain yeah, and winds come. It's almost like they didn't even bother to cut these trees down when they flooded this valley to make this reservoir. Alright, we're approaching our uh, portage from uh, Lois Lake to Horseshoe Lake. It's a 1700 meter. And we think the trail is good enough to use a cart. So that's why we brought a cart with us. We'll see how it goes. And this may be the only portage where a cart can be used. So we may just leave our cart at the end of this portage and hide it somewhere. Alright, goodbye Lois Lake. We'll see you in a couple of days. We're just about to start our 1700 meter portage to uh, Horseshoe Lake. Gonna try out these wheels here on this first bit. It's about, yeah, 1700 meters. So hopefully fairly level. Not very flat. It's not flat. Yeah, it's not flat. <laughs> All right, Horseshoe Lake. See it's pouring down rain a little bit and we're trying to get dried off and comfortable again. So that's what we're doing. Hey girls. How's it going in there? You getting all dried off? No, no, <laughs> not close at all. Are you guys warm? Mm, sort of. Alright, well, let's get warmed up. I'll bake some hot food. How's that sound? Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! All right. Mm. Oh yeah. The dishes when it's pouring rain. A family that longed for some views took off in a yellow canoe. But the rain it poured down, they almost were drowned because the only dry place was the loo. Our Powell Forest Canoe Trip 
we discovered our tent had a rip. The rain poured inside, so we had to reside under a tarp until the sky did not drift. Well, it rained pretty hard last night, and uh, we got kind of a little bit of a soggy mess going here. Turns out our rain fly on our tent is not quite waterproof. I think it's a little too old, so it uh, made quite a mess inside our tent last night. We ended up repositioning the tarp to cover the tent. So anyway, it's time to have some breakfast, and then we're going to do the portage to Dodd Lake. So. Expecting better weather for the next several days, so I'm glad that the rain is hopefully out of the system. All right, here we go. We're about ready to start our 2,400 meter portage from Nanton Lake to Ireland Lake. It's our longest portage of the trip, yes. and uh, we'll be doing triple carries. So all of us will start off by carrying backpacks and and whatever other stuff we can fit and carry. Um, uh, Sheila's going to stay behind and she's going to monitor the packs while Miss L here and I come back and I'll grab the canoe and Miss L will grab all the other sunto trees that need to be carried. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff, probably too much stuff, but this is our first, you know, long canoe trip of, of uh, seven days, so we'll learn it as we go. <coughs> All right, heading back to get the canoe and our next load. Beautiful woods here. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful woods. So here I am sitting all by myself at the end of the portage between Nanton and Ireland Lakes. You might wonder how I got the cushy job of sitting here guarding all the stuff while they go back for the canoe and other equipment. Well, our daughter doesn't want to stay in the forest by herself for an hour and a half. And I can't go back for the canoe because I can't carry a 60-pound canoe on my shoulders like Brad's going to do. So I got the cushy job. But it is one with responsibility, after all. I have to guard the food against any critters that might come along. So far, I've only seen a hummingbird and a belted kingfisher, so I haven't had to work at it very hard yet. Well, we're, what, three quarters of the way through the portage, and it's raining again. Yay! <laughs> what do you think? Really wet. Really wet? You hot? Kind of. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dodd Lake. Do a short paddle across the southern end of Dodd Lake to a campsite and uh, stay there for a couple of nights. That's the plan. Not raining right now, 
It's been raining on and off all day. Hopefully, hopefully we've seen the last of it. All right, here we are arriving at our, at our camp on Dog Lake. Nice little dock there. All right, Chipmunk Peninsula on Dog Lake. That's our home for the night. Maybe two. All right, here's a closer look at Chipmunk Camp on uh, Dog Lake. Nice, nice shelter there. For likely, for likely, we'll find some firewood. Probably set up our tent right about there in that flat spot. Dinner tonight here at Chipmunk Camp on Dog Lake is lemon, chicken, quinoa. quinoa. <laughs> this is our lemon powder here. It's true lemon. <laughs> That's what it says. Yes, yeah, true mm -hmm. lemon. True lemon. And we are hungry. We are ready to eat. Yeah, let's see what it looks like. Hey, that's not looking too bad. This is part of about a about a 40 foot high standing dead tree we found back in the woods over there. It was easy enough just to push over, um, and uh, it's good and dry. So we're gonna cut her up and chop her up, and hopefully have a nice fire. <laughs> Sun's peeking out here at uh, Chipmunk Peninsula Camp on Dodd Lake. It's been raining on and off. 